Welcome to Copy with Biking. I am Mike. Cheers. In today's devotion, His ways are right. Hosi 14, 9. Who is wise? Let him understand these things. Who is prudent? Let him know them. For the ways of the Lord are right. The righteous walk in them, but transgressors stumble in them. It has been said that common sense isn't so common today, and that is extremely true, as sad as that is. The same thing can be said about can be said of wisdom, can't it? In the age of Twitter and other social media, people are more often drawn to the witty aphorism than they are to true words of wisdom. Today's verse points us to true wisdom, and it's in the ways and words of our Father in heaven. It's an amplification of these words from Solomon. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. Proverbs 9.10 in today's, world, in today's world, we can turn to many sources for wisdom, but it's worldly wisdom, and it's almost always either incomplete or completely wrong and 100% foolish. That's why God's words to Hosi are as important to us today as they were when they were written. God is our source of complete wisdom, and his ways are the best ways for us to follow, no matter what the world says. God of wisdom, I live in a time when it seems as though everyone lives by their own standards and values. The sad results speak for themselves. Thank you for showing me your ways and for empowering me to walk in them daily. And sadly, we do live in a world where everyone follows either their own wisdom or worldly wisdom, which without God, it is foolish because the way this world works is trying to push everyone away from God by creating many other gods. And honestly, anything can become a god. Whether it be celebrities, social media, a friend, your parents, which I'm not saying don't, yeah, I'm not saying disrespect them, I'm just saying don't worship them. It can be worldly possessions, it can be anything. But this is the world we live in now and the biggest God now sadly has not been has is not money anymore it is one of two things it is either social media or this I can't tell you how many times at work I almost run into people with my trash barrels because they're on their phones not paying attention and I'm coming around a corner and the only thing I can say in my own mind because I can't say it out loud is pay attention and get off your phone but this is the world we live in now where people idolize their smartphones and social media above everything else And don't get me wrong, social media, it's not a bad thing. I'm actually on Facebook where I keep up with family and spread God's word there too. But 
it's not something I live on. Like I've noticed with a lot of the college students I see and almost run into with my trash barrels. But the phones themselves, I don't believe are sinful. Social media, as long as you don't idolize it or use it to harm anyone through your words, I don't see anything wrong with it. It's just like everything in life, it should be in moderation. You shouldn't be living on it and letting it run your life. Stay blessed, stay caffeinated. Much love.